gotten this cover before? Me too. Good. So, Elephant? This cover that I tried. Uh, James Chadwick. Not James Chadwick. I think that was for the neutron. That, that was for the neutron. Who discovered electron? Um, Rutherford. Not Rutherford. That was a problem. Is this with JJ? JJ oh, Thompson. Okay, so JJ Thompson. And right. then right before it, uh, Hold on. The uh, discover. Okay, so name. So discover name. Yeah. So. The uh, name and uh, and yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Or so, you can write discover. Uh, sure. What year it was discovered? 1857. No. 18... 1899. What? The mass of electron. That's more important than anything. Nine point one. Okay, 9.11 times 10 is 2, negative 31 what? Um, Coulombs. Kilograms. Kilograms. And charge, I think he mixed up with uh, mass and, and charge. But it's people people mix it up all the time. Negative uh, 1.6 no. times 10 raised to 19. Negative 1.6 times 10 raised to? Negative 19. Negative 19. Coulomb. Coulomb, yeah. That, that's correct. Okay, now proton. Who discovered proton, you think? Rutherford has... Yeah, Rutherford. Rutherford. Yeah, Ernest Rutherford. <laughs> Ernest, he must be a really rich person. Yeah. Ernest Rutherford. What? Jesse Thompson was uh, was English. Ernest Rutherford was English. He was born in England. He was also born in England. Huh. Uh, what year he, you think he uh, discovered it? 1904. Well, there is a, like, um, there is a, the interval of time. Not 1904 exactly. Um, 1904? Uh, 1905? No! Around 1912. Uh, okay, so the, ma that's 1912. the mass. The mass of the proton? Um, 1.6 times 10 raised to negative 27 kilogram. Yeah. What about the charge of. Just the same as an electron, but. Very good. 1.6 times 10 raised to negative 19. Cool. Very good. Oh. Now the neutron. Who discovered neutron? Mm, as you um, said, James Chadwick. James Chadwick. James Chadwick. In he was also English. He was also English. English. Wow. So he was born in England. He was born in England. He was born in England. So you see the contribution <coughs> to science by English people. Hmm, Huge contribution. 19, 1932. 1932. 1932. Ah. The mass. What is the mass of the neutron? 1.67 times 10 to the no, minus. Same 10. thing. 1.6 times. Oh. oh, that's what you said? Yeah. Sorry. Zero. What is the charge? Zero. Zero. Good. Zero coulomb. Now, why did they do that? Why did they do that? Because when we do the lesson, we're going to use that. So let's just start the lesson. Okay. Maybe one second. So the, the lesson. The lesson. Okay, so the, the gravity, right? Mm -hmm. How can we write gravity in a notation? Fg. How can we write electricity in a notation? Fe. Fe. Which one? So we're gonna make a hypothesis, okay? Hypothesis. Hypothesis is just a guess. What do you think? Whose force is stronger? Fg. Oh. Fg is stronger than Fe. I have a my hypothesis. Yeah. What is it? What is it? So from what I know, Fg is Fg. So that means things with bigger mass will have stronger Fe than Fe. Okay. Now. So it really depends. No. Okay, it's we'll, tiny. We'll, we'll get that. We'll get that's, that. You, you are jumping ahead. No, he but said, that's what I think. That's, okay. that's what I think. I'm gonna write his hypothesis. What's your hypothesis? Fg is stronger because Fg, okay. The that's, universe depends on Fg. He said Fg is stronger than Fg. Okay, let's see how whether it is right or wrong. Okay, is this some investigation? Okay. Now, in a do now, in a do now, we don't what? In a do now, we don't what? 
mass without particles, mass, charge. and then charge. Particles for positive without what? The mass is 1.6 times 10 raised to? Negative 27. Negative 27, and one, uh, positive 1.6 times 10 raised to negative? 19. 19. And for negative, we wrote negative 1.6 times, I mean 9.1 times 10 raised to negative 31, and then negative 1.6 times 10 raised to negative 19. Separated by 1 meter, and this one is separated by? 1 meter. 1 meter, very good. Now we want to find Fg over here. What is the equation Sir Isaac Nego gave us? Uh, G, G and 1 M2 of uh, R squared. So G is from your reference table is uh, 6.67 times 10 to the negative 11. And M, 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 M positive is I gave you over there. 1.6 times 10 to the negative 27. Mm -hmm. And mass of the electron. 9.1 times 10 to the minus 31 kilogram. Good. Divided by? 1. 1. Let's see, let's see. I can't calculate it. Yeah, please calculate it using your calculator. No, so when you calculate when you calculate it, use some technique. 6.67 times 1.6 times 9. Okay? Times 10 raised to negative 11 minus 27 minus 31. So use the calculator only for these now three numbers. What is it, Isaac? So, Oh, 1 times 10 raised to negative? 67. 67 what? Oh, okay. And very I tiny, think. very tiny, very yeah. tiny. Yeah. Hmm. It's yeah. probably, mm. this is probably not true, but we'll, we'll get to see that. Okay, Fe. What is, who hey. discovered, who discovered the electric force? And what is it? Faraday. Mm. Charles Coulomb. Oh. Oh. Charles Coulomb discovered... Oh, yeah, that's why it calls the Coulomb. And Charles Coulomb, guess what country he was born? England. Not England. Common misconception. Try again. France. Yeah, France. Wow. Okay, K. C. It's like just like this one. K, Q1. Q2 over? R squared. So F e is equal to what? K is? Nine. Nine times ten raised to nine. Q1 is what? Nine. I gave you over there. One point six times ten to the minus. Nine. This is positive and this is? Negative. 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 So 1.6 times 10 raised to negative 19, 19 and negative uh, yeah sure 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 it's square that's right and one is square um, okay so F is one other way um, of uh, excuse me mommy yeah. uh, can I calculate this yeah please oh huh. that scared me actually so now uh, Yeah. The top and which one is on the bottom? Um, Fe on the top. Fe on the top and Fe on, on the bottom. Fe on the top and Fe on the bottom. So Fe is how much? Hmm, 2.3 times. 10 raised to negative 28 newton. Okay. And then this one is? Uh, 1 times? 10 raised to negative 67. So I got 67. 2.3 times 10 raised to negative 67. Yeah, that's right. Minus 28. You gotta be kidding. 67 minus 28. Oh, yeah. 10 raised to minus 28 minus plus 67. 20. You've got to be kidding me. It's 39. Double it's time. check. 2.3 times 10 raised to 39. Yeah. Uh, Please don't. Okay. Yeah. Two, yeah. It's a, it's a lot. Okay. Now I'm going to give you exit slip. Let's finish today's remote learning with an exit slip. Wow. I don't want this end. This so my hypothesis was wrong? Yes. And I didn't disprove it. 
Wait, wait. It's too early to say oh, yeah. anything. Okay, so the exit slip. Okay, so you have, in the last one we saw, you have proton and you have electron. electron. And then you have proton and you have electron. Mm -hmm. And there is a gravitational force between this. And the gravitational force, suppose, uh, turns out to be 10 raised to negative 67 newton. And this one turns out to be how much? 10 raised to negative 38 newton, more wait, or less. Wait, um, 28. By the way, 28. Um, 28. Okay, hold on, hold on. hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. As things would be big, if we are you use something more massive, then tiny. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't jump to conclusion. So this tells us that F E is much, much, much bigger than F G. F G. All right. Does it? Okay. Now, the existential question is, what keeps the Earth? What keeps the Moon, for example? What keeps? The moon in orbit. What keeps? Obviously. Well, hold on, hold on. Let other people keep chance. They have to also think. Give Don't give them answer. Give me a chance. What what keeps moon? I always ask you to help me. In the you orbit. You never help. You never help. Uh, uh, I what have. keeps? I Is have. it F G or F E? Mm. Don't don't say F E uh, just because F E is greater. All right, what keeps, uh, what keeps uh, for example, the Earth in, in, in the orbit of the sun, for example? Now pause the video and try your own. FG. Uh, FG, yeah. Okay, FG. But why Why not FE? It seems like FE wait, is wait. bigger force. Why right. FG? I think I know. Why? Because uh, the, uh, the Earth and the sun are so massive. Because, uh, so the uh, mass of the <laughs> That but could be so big. that could be a side reason, but what is the main reason? Uh, they're neutrally charged, so there is no FE. Neutrally charged, what do you mean? This is Earth, right? Yeah. What is the what is the mass of Earth? Can someone tell me? Yeah. Six times ten ratio? Twenty-four. Uh, Twenty-four kilogram. But yeah. check it, the record is terrible, it's on the top. Six yeah. yes. It's actually five point nine nine times ten ratio twenty-four, uh, right? Yeah. yeah okay. okay, so the earth is made of what? Um Art is made of what? Atoms. Atoms. Everything's made of atoms. Uh, just like everything, art is made of atoms, right? Uh -huh. Yeah. Not uh, just everything. Just everything. Just like everything. But let's use the art as a case study. As a case study. Case study. Okay. If art is made of made uh, art is made of atom, let's give me give me a definition of atom. Atom. What is the definition of atom? Yeah. Uh, proton equal electron. So neutral. atom is neutrally charged, meaning it has the same number of proton electron and, and electron. proton. Is that that to apply to for all types of atom? There are how many types of atom we have in the periodic table? One eighteen. One eighteen. The all types of atom they are neutral. Mm -hmm. Do we understand that? Yeah. Yes. Okay. From hy oh, from oh. hydrogen to all the way. Uh, last atom. U U O Ganesha. He knows the last one they got. I don't know. The last one then. So they updated it from like union or tinium to open atom for some reason. Fine. Okay. So from the hydrogen atom to what is that? Um union and organ Oh Jesus. Okay. The last one. They all are atom, meaning that they have the same number of electrons and same number of um protons. Proton. If Wait, they have does that mean that the only reason that shards exist is because of ions and isotopes? Ions and yeah, that's that's correct. So ions, there are two types of ions: a cation, oh, a positive discharge, and an ion. But I don't want to go too far from our physics inventor into chemistry. Okay, that's good. So if the art made of atom, so if the art made of lots of atom, and every atom is neutral, neutral, then the art is neutral, neutral. Okay, you can consider art as a big atom. So art is a neutral, and then apply for the moon. If moon made of atom, moon is also neutral. Also neutral, just like art. So this is neutral, this is neutral. So what would be the electric force between these two? Zero. Zero. Yeah. So then what remains? Fg. Fg. And how much Fg between these two? A lot of Fg. No. Two times ten raised to? Twenty. 
20 newton a lot. That keeps the moon in orbit. Okay, guys, I'll see you tomorrow. And uh, that keeps the Earth in orbit of the sun. Subscribe to Bari Science Lab to fall in love with math and science, especially programming.